name is Abdul Rahman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we discussed about pointer to function. We had seen that a pointer to function, actually it is a concept of passing a pointer uh, into a function as an argument. Today, we are going to ask a question, what is a pointer to a string? And in that particular journey, we are going to define actually what is a pointer to string. We are going to find out what are the syntaxes which are used. And finally, we are going to implement in Dev C++. So let us start in this particular session. So uh, first of all, uh, uh, let us define what it is actually a pointer to a string. Uh, however, we have found out that uh, in C programming, actually, there is no string. Therefore, uh, a string, actually, it is uh, defined by using upper characters. And uh, in that particular definition, here we are saying that a string in C programming, it is actually defined as a collection of an array of characters. And uh, this particular array of a character, actually, uh, the, end of, uh, the end of that particular uh, character, it is actually will be the null value. And the null value is represented by actually a backslash and a zero. So basically, that is what is the definition of a string. Uh, and in C program. So let's go and see actually what is the syntax of defining up uh, uh, that particular uh, string. Therefore, this particular string, actually the syntax will be very simple. It has to be of data type char because it's a, a collection of character and uh, we have to have our string name here. And we are saying it is actually a, a collection of an array. So we'll have our symbol for an array size. And then here we'll have initialize our string. So basically that uh, it is the syntax of a string. So a pointer uh, on the other side will be fine also as data type char. And here... Basically, we'll have uh, the symbol of a pointer, uh, and then we'll have here a pointer name. And it will be actually assigned to the string name. Because you know that uh, a pointer only stores the address of uh, another variable. So that is basically onto that. So let's conceptualize the same thing. For example, we have got up a string call name of data type char. So of data type char, and we give it up a we give it up a value called Abdul. So that will be the string called Abdul. So basically, uh, and then we have uh, a pointer char. And this particular pointer will give it up a name PTR and we are assigning it to name. So basically uh, what we have done is basically taken up this data type char and the string name we have given it, call it just a name and our string we give it up, call it up uh, the string. And we have done the same thing with a pointer, a pointer character, and then a pointer name. And basically, we have taken up the string name. So basically, this is how we have interpreted it. So let's go further and try to draw how it will look like. So this basically will be our array of character. And we have one, two... <coughs> Three, four, five, and this will be the end of character. So for this, we'll have our 
value b uh, here you'll have uh, d u and l and we said uh, actually the last part will be terminated by having up our null value so that is our null value so this will be our index so our index is used to access that particular uh, each and every character so that will be index 0 1 2 3 4 and index 5 so for more how to create up an array uh, just uh, visit uh, our previous uh, lessons and we'll understand how we can do that so here we have got our elements or our value and these are our values and here we'll have up our address let's take for example our address here is just 100 so here we'll have either depending up on a machine if it is 32 or 64 bit if it is a 64 bit we'll have uh, uh, each character having a 2 bit so it will be 102 104 106 108 and 110 so basically that is the address and uh, this is actually our string uh, which we named it as a name so this is our name so let's see how we can conceptualize our pointer so that will be our pointer called the ptr and in that particular pointer called ptr it has got an address so let's take for this particular address it is actually uh, 2020 and this particular address actually points to the base address of this particular uh, array so here we'll have up our element or our value to be actually the address of this particular pointer so basically uh, what we can do it is that if we can point to this particular element number one then if you use up a loop we can actually get up all our string using up our pointer so let's go to the C++ and see how we can use up a loop to actually uh, go through each and every element string and give it out. So uh, basically what we are going to do it is that we are going to create up an array whereby we want to access the cities of the world. And we we'll basically talked about the Nairobi city, we we'll talk about London and we'll talk about Paris. So we'll take we'll create up a, uh, an array which hold up all these three cities. So let's go here. Basically, so we create up uh, our, uh, our array and in this particular array, actually it is uh, a pointer array. So we'll have here char and we'll call it cities. So it is a pointer array. Uh, so this will be a pointer array called cities and in that particular pointer array basically what are we having inside here inside we are having up uh, Our city called Nairobi and then basically here what we are having it is a uh, simple we are having up London and finally here we are having up Paris So we are using up a, a for loop. So using up a for loop to access them. So basically here, what we are saying int i equals to zero, and then we are saying i should be actually less than three, and you are saying i plus plus. So we are incrementing up i. 
and then basically it's a very simple uh, program whereby we are trying up to use up a printf to access our elements so here they are of data type uh, string so we'll have got percentage s and we're putting up a, a line for each and every part of it and then we are putting up our cities and we are accessing up i okay for now let us execute our code and into our code we have seen that we have got uh, an array of uh, uh, characters which is a pointer called city and in this particular city we have nairobi london and paris and we are trying to access each and every uh, each and every element within this particular area and uh, this is basically the code so let's uh, compile and run so when you compile and run actually it gives us uh, an extract and access our three cities that is nairobi london and paris so that comes out to the end of this particular demonstration until in our next session whereby we are going to talk about a pointer call by value however don't forget to subscribe into our next lesson thank you for now and bye